y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali, and today I'm with Navia. Hey guys! And for Vlogmas Day 10, I thought I would do something a little bit different. We had breakfast the other day, and Navia is a signed model, so we were talking about all these random things about the modeling industry that I didn't know. Yeah, and she was really shocked. Yeah, I was shocked <laughs> because there's honestly just so many things that people don't know of. So today we're going to be busting myths about the modeling industry. You want to start with your intro, just like where you're signed at and how do you got started? Yes. So I started modeling about four and a half years ago. Acting was my first love, but it wasn't until junior year of high school when I was watching, I, I used to watch the Victoria's Secret fashion show oh, religiously. Yeah. <laughs> but there was something about that one year when I was watching it, I was like just so inspired and mesmerized and I was like, I want to do this. So I just remember since then modeling was like my dream. I have to do it. I'm going to do it. And so out of high school, when I, I think this was like my second year of college, I'm like a year younger than everyone. So I was 18 at the time and that's when I got scouted by IMG. Mm -hmm. And it was very non-traditional. I didn't get scouted at a mall or like <laughs> anything like that, which was something that I always dreamed of. But I got scouted through Instagram, through their um, We Love Your Jeans. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's called like We Love Your Jeans and it's their scouting page. So I got okay. scouted through that. The whole process took about a month, but long story short, they told me to get signed locally and get experience. So I got signed locally to one agency and then I switched over to another one after my contract ended. Mm -hmm. So I'm currently signed with Salt Agency in Atlanta and I have recently got signed to CGM in Miami. So I'm signed with two agencies and I've been working a lot. I've definitely learned a lot these past four and a half years. So I feel like I have a lot of advice to give. So let's get into the myths. I did a little question box on my Instagram and we're gonna go through those. So the first question is, is it really as hard as they say to get signed? Yes and no. Okay. I think it kind of depends on the person really, mm -hmm. but um, I will say for me, it was hard to get signed initially. I feel like there's like this stereotype where a lot of models like get signed instantly and then their career picks off. But I think the reality of it is that you have to do a lot of research on your part. Mm -hmm. And what do you mean research? Like research as in look up agencies locally or any agencies you're interested in mm -hmm. and then look at their requirements. So all agencies have requirements and they'll have like certain <laughs> requirements such as like height requirements and i mean like okay, those okay. are the main requirements okay. i'd say got it um so then they'll have they'll have like a submissions page where you can submit pictures online or mm -hmm. you can go to like an open call got it so i feel like i've had to research a lot and find out which agency is good and i've like always like followed them on instagram to see if i like them mm -hmm. or not and yeah, so I went to a few open calls and met with different agencies and then, yeah, so that's how I got signed. Next question is, how did you get started with modeling? So when I got signed to my agency, I learned very quickly that building your book is something super important. Like, you have to do it if you want to go far in this industry. And I was basically told to book a lot of test shoots. So a lot of people think that your agency sets up these test shoots, which in a way is true, but in most cases, it's the model that has to reach out to photographers and set out test shoots on their own. And there's a lot of money that goes into it. This is where I was shook because I didn't, I guess I did, if I think about it, then I did realize that you do have to pay for your own yeah, like, yeah, shoots yeah. to build your book because when I was getting into it, that's why my mom didn't want to do it is because it's a yeah. lot of money up front. You have to pay for, for the photographers, you have to pay for mm -hmm. hair, makeup, and stylists and everything. Yeah. Um, but I was, I like hearing it from you, I was like, oh wait, that's a thing? Like, Yeah, it's insane because a lot of people assume that every photo shoot that I post, I got paid for that or yeah. it was free. Yeah. And no, <laughs> I paid for it out of my pocket uh -huh. and um, it's hard, but you, it's something that is necessary because mm -hmm. the better your book is, the more um, job, job opportunities you'll get right. basically. And right. so, and it's not like a one-time thing. This mm -hmm. is something that a model constantly has to do. Like quarterly, you have to update your book. Wow. So, but it's an investment. Mm -hmm. So, you'll get back, you know, right, you'll right. get it back in return. Right. And so 
talk about TFP because as a photographer, okay. I am in some of those Facebook groups. Yes. So. so TFP is a term in the industry in mm. like the modeling and photography industry yeah. and it stands for trade for print. Essentially both the model and the photographer are- Don't get paid. They yeah. just kind of trade And they both services. are trying to work on building their portfolio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly a hit or miss. I've done a lot of TFPs mm -hmm. and half the time the photos were great. I was in love with them. The other half, I'm like, no, like Aww. it could be better. But I yeah. mean, it's it's a learning process. You learn every time you have a shoot and mm -hmm. yeah. Do you, do you go through their like galleries and stuff like that before? I do say? before. Yeah. So there are some times when a photographer will directly reach out to me okay. and I feel like with all the experience that I've had so yeah. far, I kind of, know whether their photography photography is going to benefit me or not right. that makes sense um and then sometimes my agent if she really likes someone's photography and a photographer reaches out to them then she'll kind of like got set it. up the shoot got it cool. yeah next question is do you feel pressure that you have to like, diet constantly um i did to be honest i did in the beginning mm -hmm. and i was just like always insecure with my body and i feel like that's so that's inevitable like yeah. i feel like everyone not even models like everyone in yeah, general goes through true. that but as a model mm -hmm. um there's just like this pressure that you always have to look good and I definitely did go on diets and it wasn't necessarily like the healthiest thing but I've learned over time that, and I mean, also the industry is changing. Mm -hmm. So they're not as strict about, you know, body image and all of that. Like right. that's definitely getting a lot better, even though it's slow, but I did feel pressured at one point towards the beginning of my career, mm -hmm. um, where when I would go to shoots, I like would be scared to eat a meal before a shoot. So I eat after oh, yeah. and like, I wouldn't necessarily starve myself, right. but I just was very, very like anal about what I would eat and like yeah. when and you know all of that. Yeah. But I think now it's gotten easier because you really just have to focus on taking care of yourself. So I'm definitely not into like dieting or anything like that. It's more of a lifestyle, you know. So I eat when I'm hungry and I make sure I eat healthy, but mm -hmm. it's all about balance. And yeah. I feel like you just kind of it's just like an experience everyone goes through and you learn from it. So. Right. Speaking about meal plans, someone asked do they create a meal plan for you? Do they give you like advice about what to eat? And like, um, yes, kind of. My agent has never done that, but I've definitely seen other agencies kind of give advice on like healthy foods to eat and like what not to eat, what stuff to stay away from, which is pretty much like sugar fried yeah. foods and stuff. <laughs> but they do, they do make it important to you know maintain a balance. They don't, they're not like good. never eat this like. Yeah like you know so it's like it's not i don't think it's common but i've definitely seen some agencies do that the next question i have is the modeling industry seems to be moving more to body confidence is this true yes 100 percent um i would say it's still kind of slow mm -hmm. and it could go a little faster but it's going in the right direction and i think a lot of major brands such as skims yes i was I just mean, thinking about skims, yeah airy skims airy i mean there's so many brands yeah. and they include everyone they're mm -hmm. so inclusive i think now that all of these models look like real people yeah. they're not super tall super skinny with like unrealistic i definitely think it's moving in the right direction the next one is not a question it's a myth but they said a pretty face is everything so what i have to say about that is that's not true at all um i think i've definitely gotten a lot of DMs in the past and it's like really tall beautiful people and they're like I want to model like mm -hmm. I everyone says I look good like I want to get into modeling mm -hmm. and the thing that I find a little off about that is you can look really beautiful and you can have all of the physical requirements to be a model yeah but if you don't have like the will and the t determination mm -hmm. and if you're not gonna put in the hard work right i think like there's no point it's a lot of work yeah. i feel like a lot of people think like oh you just go to photo shoots all day sit around yeah. get your hair and makeup done and pose like yeah no it's can yeah you, but like go through like a day in the life like if you're on a modeling job like what's what's the hard part about it like i personally yeah. don't know so i would like like to know so most of the time the mm -hmm. call times are super super early okay. so i have to wake up really early and make okay. sure I, you know, my skin's looking good. I like yeah. feel good. 
And when I get there, you know, hair and makeup gets done and all that. And mm -hmm. it's not as easy as people think. And mm -hmm. like, people are probably gonna be annoyed at me saying that, but it's <laughs> a lot harder. And right. there's just a lot of effort that goes into when you're being filmed and like being on camera. Mm -hmm. And posing is not as easy as people think. Oh, no. Yeah. No. There's like. And especially like if you're doing it in front of like this whole team, I can't imagine the pressure of like yeah. every pose having to be like perfect. Yeah. And you always like, most of the time you're just having to redo the same pose until they get the perfect shot and yeah. it's kind of an all-day thing you're on yeah. set for hours and half the time like you're not eating i mean they have yeah. food on set but it's like you you're don't so, have the time yeah to you don't have the time to like sit down and be like okay let me take a break you're always on the go mm -hmm. and i like back to what i was saying earlier like a pretty face is everything mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people think like, okay, like I have the face for modeling and they think like if you have the face and your career career will kick off right essentially, but no, you have to put in a lot of like time and investment into your book and mm -hmm. there's a lot of work that has to come from your side mm -hmm. and not just like your agency or agent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it takes a, I will say, it takes a while to get your first modeling job or to start getting jobs. It took me two years to get my first modeling job. Really? Yeah, and it okay. was for, um, it was called Prom Week at America's Mart. Okay, okay. Have you, do you know America's Mart? I know that. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. And so is. it was for like Sherry Hill and all of these Got other it. designers. Cool. Yeah, so it was like my first job and I was super, super excited. Yeah. But it did take me two years and it's not gonna take everyone that long. Some, right. You know, for some people, they can get lucky and they'll get jobs instantly, but it really depends. Yeah. You just have to make sure you're working on your book constantly. The next myth is that modeling brings in a lot of cash instantly. Not true at all. <laughs> I feel like, if anything, you're the one like putting, putting in, in yeah, a lot of money. Yeah, so this is what not a lot of people know. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this either when I first started out. Mm -hmm. So basically when you get a modeling job, um, and I will say modeling jobs do pay well. Mm -hmm. So like for a day job, it can range around to like a thousand, thousand to a thousand five hundred or two thousand. It really depends right. on the market. Mm -hmm. When you do get a job, it can take up to 60 or not 60 to 90 days or up to six months. So you don't get that money instantly. And yeah. a lot of times when you're traveling, even though the client says that they'll pay for travel and stay, mm -hmm. that money, like for travel and stay, that has to come out of your pocket until you get reimbursed. This is what I was so like, what? So <laughs> it's, a, yeah, and it's all, it's stressful at times. Yeah. Cause like, I'm just a girl living in Georgia, like <laughs> nannying, like trying to support herself. And yeah. like, I feel like sometimes I don't have the funds to just, book a flight in a hotel for right. a job the next day. Yeah. So I've so definitely had to do you like I've <laughs> I've had to turn down jobs. Oh. Some like a few times That's I've really had to sad. turn down jobs. Yeah. Unless it's like a really big opportunity. Right. I'm like, okay, I will make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um I think it takes a while for a model to fully establish herself. And I feel like I'm not established yet. Like I'm okay. still kind of working my way up to the point where I can just can like full-time model mm -hmm. and just be able to not have to depend on like another source of income. Right. The next myth is that your skin has to be perfect all the time. They want you to have perfect skin, obviously, but obviously it's easier for the photographer, sometimes right? Sometimes you just can't control how your skin acts. Oh, yeah, that's and right. I used to have really bad acne and mm -hmm. I was so insecure about it, always scared. While but, you were like getting into modeling? Um, no, while I was modeling, I struggled okay. with acne. And okay. so I was always scared like going into photo shoots. I thought it was really unprofessional coming in with bad skin, even though I did. Unprofessional? That's so sad. No, yeah. I mean, that's what I thought. Okay. I was like so scared to like, I was just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. They probably don't think I take care of my skin, but I have uh, done everything in my power yeah. to make sure my skin's no. okay. And she just yeah. does not want to be right sometimes. So... But I've slowly learned that like, that's why there's Photoshop. That's why people edit, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. shoots and stuff. And Have so, you ever gotten like a really bad edited photo and you're like, this doesn't look like me? So many times, <laughs> so <laughs> many times. Like, be, like from your people that you book for portfolios or from like the jobs that you get? Um, Both, but okay. most of the time I'd say it's just photo shoots and not from jobs. Okay. Um, and the worst part is when they 
tag me in a picture that oh, they post. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just gotten to the point where I've just like had to untag myself. Yeah, no, which yeah. is like honestly kind of bad. Like we all have our different angles and bad photos, but there's just some photos that I just feel so disrespected. I'm like, this does not look like me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it no, happens to I, the best I, of I us. feel like I would do that too, because like your page is a representation of you. Yeah. So like an agency could go to your tagged photos and you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so that's so. exactly why. So with modeling, your social media is kind of like your online portfolio. Yeah, let's talk about so your social media. When it comes to social media, um, our Instagrams are kind of like our online portfolio. So. Right. A lot of times clients will look at our Instagram and that's how we can get booked jobs. Yeah. So I think it's really important that you, um, if you are interested in modeling, to make sure you're maintaining a good presence online and mm -hmm. nothing, you know, too in inappropriate or anything like that. Right. I honestly think it's so important to like express your opinions and where you stand. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, I think it's good to just keep your in Instagram clean and just make it all about you. Don't, you know, don't try and be someone else. Just make it all about you and like make sure you're authentic about it. Now I want to ask Navia some of my own questions because I am just kind of nosy and I want to know the dirty <laughs> details. So I feel like she's an open book. So for sure, let's get into it. So I want to know how much you pay for a shoot, like a hair, makeup, photographer situation. Because honestly, before you told me about yeah. all of this stuff, I didn't even know you had to get hair and makeup. Like that's so dumb to say, but like no, 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 I didn't no, think about it. So <laughs> fine. Um, so uh, my first shoot that I've ever paid for out of well, my mom paid for it because I was younger. Yeah. So <laughs> it was four hundred dollars. It was a photographer, the makeup, hair stylist, and wardrobe. And, and do they all usually work together? Do they all come up as a package usually? Or do you have yes. okay. Mm -hmm. So in most cases they do come as a package. Okay. Um, and at the time I thought $400 was a lot. Yeah. Little did I know. Oh. <laughs> um, and I will say it depends on the market you're in. Like Atlanta, it's mm -hmm. a lot smaller market compared to New York, LA or Miami. And then Miami, which I recently got signed to, it's a lot bigger. Right. And so I've noticed that the photography or photographers there are a lot pricier, but I mean, their work is good, so okay. I get it. Yeah. But um, I went to Miami a few weeks ago in November to build my book, and one of the photo shoots I paid for, which honestly kills <laughs> me to say, I paid $950 for it. Everything included? Yeah. Okay. So it was like, it was a swim shoot on the beach. Okay. Um, I had, the photos were bomb though. And yeah, no, please they turned go out follow great. her because <laughs> her photos are so killer yeah, every so time sweet. she posts. Also one question about that. Um, whenever the photographer gives you the photos, how many do you get back, like the edited photos, and also how long is the shoot? Honestly, I would say between six to 10. And the amount of time the shoot takes would be an hour to two hours. Okay. So nothing more than that if it's just like a shoot for your book. Okay, and do you get to choose your edited photos? or do they choose for you? Um, yeah, in some cases, I did get to choose my photos and my agent, I will send all of the photos to my agent so she can choose the ones that she thinks would mm -hmm. be good. Um, the Miami shoot that I did, I got to choose the photos, so okay. yeah. Cool. What has been the highest paying job? And then what has been your favorite job? Thanks. So the highest paying job so far um, was my re my most recent job that okay. I had to fly to Miami for. Okay. Um, and do and they pay for your travel? And yes. Accommodations and mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because so you get reimbursed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And my favorite job, I would say Adidas. I worked for Adidas last cool. summer, and it was kind of a dream come true because that oh was my God. first. Actually, I have two favorite jobs. So okay. the <laughs> Adidas job, um, it was a day long job. Do and you was, have the photos from that. So, funny story. Oh, no. <laughs> Adidas posted a sponsor post of that photo. Okay. And it was like me and one of my model friends. Okay. And I wasn't a fan of the photo oh, the way I looked. Yeah. But I did get a lot of hate comments on that photo. So, it wasn't necessarily about what me personally, but it was more so about the outfit or they were okay. like, the models look sickly. Like, are they even oh, eating? Shit. Just comments oh, like gosh. that. No, but like it, it was kind of funny to me in a way because like I've never dealt with that. Okay. Like I've just never dealt with like hate comments like that. Yeah. And so it was like honestly very interesting because 
these people don't even know me. Yeah, no. They yeah. don't even know me. So I'm kind of glad like Adidas didn't tag me in that photo. Oh, okay, okay. But I never posted pictures, but that was the only picture I saw. Cause okay. when we signed the contract, um, they you didn't really tell the us. Yeah, they yeah. didn't tell us where the photos would be or anything Got it. like that. So Got it. it's kind of just like, if you see it somewhere, you see it and then you wow. take a picture, but yeah. Okay, what's the other favorite job? My other favorite job, I recently booked a runway show with Carolina Herrera. I don't know who that is. So she's like- I think a, I've like heard of her. No, 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 yeah, she's a famous designer. Okay. And I feel like I know of her because- Is this in like, Miami? Um, well, it, she's like based in New York, Okay. but it took place in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, so I remember my agent called me saying, there's gonna be a runway show for Carolina Herrera this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Like, I need you to be, I need you to make sure like you're available, but yeah. I don't know if you got the job or not. I'm sending here both uh, to New York right now. And then the next day comes and she calls me saying, I booked the job. And it was, it was exciting because runway has always been one of my dreams. Yeah. And I just love being on the runway. And yeah, yeah it was a dream come true because that was my first ever runway show for a big designer. Next question is, how did you get the confidence? Like you said, you were insecure about your acne. Yeah. So like, how did you freaking get the, like you have to have so much confidence to model, right? No, for <laughs> sure. So I think the more photo shoots I did, the mm -hmm. more comfortable I got behind camera. And that's honestly the only way. Yeah. But you got to fake it till you make it. So yeah, that's you have what to I act, say. Yeah, you got to <laughs> act confident. But yeah. I will say, um, the first few photo shoots I started doing, mm -hmm. I would look at the pictures and I'm like, wow, like I did that. Like I'm doing that. Yeah. And I think it kind of, yeah, it's a kind fire of, under your butt. Yeah, it really does. You. And I think that's what's truly made me confident. And I have also realized mm -hmm. each and every single person is unique and different in every way. And that honestly sounds really cheesy, but I feel yeah. like I have features that Not set it. me apart from other models right. and vice versa. So. That's something that I, that took me a while to realize. And now I, I'm like, I'm me and this is what I look like. And yeah. I'm going to do my thing on yeah. camera. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, my confidence didn't just show up overnight. Like it's something that I had to work on and remind myself sure. every single day. But yeah, that's like something that helped me. Next question is how did you learn how to pose? Um, practice. Or yeah, I, it's, it's a lot of practice. Did and you have like a trainer? Is that something? That's no, the there okay. are um, runway training classes. I okay. did take one when I signed to my first agency, okay. but with posing, I think the photographer usually kind of directs you in a way. And I do. Yeah, I actually do. you did help me <laughs> that last time that we shot. Yeah, I've shot with photographers. When they don't like really direct me, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, it's kind of hard. I do, like yeah. I direct so much that I'm just like, like I feel so awkward when they don't. Like even though I know how to pose, I feel like yeah. it's just something they should do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? No, for sure. It's very helpful when the people on set direct me, but mm -hmm. I think over time, like I said, the more shoots you do, the yeah. more comfortable and creative you'll get about yeah. posing. Mm -hmm. And it's all about movement. You know, you really just kind of- That's what I tell my yeah, clients. Yeah, it, it just looks more like candid and yeah. more genuine and not too like posed and not too stiff, you know? Yeah, and I will say the poses that feel really awkward or weird are sometimes the best poses. Yeah. yeah, like- What is the hardest part about modeling? Um, I'd say the hardest part is rejection and how long it takes okay. and I'm sure like everyone knows You know, even if you're trying to get into modeling rejection is just a part of the industry that you're gonna have to deal with mm -hmm. Rejection in what way rejection as in um, If you want to get signed with agencies and they reject you or like okay. not getting enough jobs or like You know when you go to casting calls and they don't pick you so okay, I okay. think rejection in all of those areas mm -hmm. It's definitely hard and it kind of makes you question your self-worth almost. Yeah. Um, but I think the more rejection you face, you kind of become resilient and you, you have to realize that it's literally not about you because modeling is a business at the end of the day. And if they don't choose you, it's not because they don't think you're pretty or they don't think you're good enough. It's yeah. because they have a specific vision in mind and you just simply don't fit it. But, and I know that sounds harsh, but yeah, so every, I always tell myself, every no that I get is one step closer to a yes. Last year, I went to New York and met with about like 19 agencies. All of them said no to me. And so New York has always been my dream. Yeah. And so I was, I kind of didn't really, I did take it a lot better than I thought I would, but I was just like, what do I do now? Right. Like I have to wait 
like six months to a year before I try again, like what am I supposed to do? Cause I dropped out of school thinking I was gonna move to New York. I have this whole plan set for myself. All right, so next, next question is, do you feel like you have an advantage of being Indian and brown now that diversity is a thing? A hundred percent. I was thinking yes. that cause like, I feel like at first, like it was At first it was kind of the opposite. Yes, you know? exactly. Like, yeah, but now um, this is such a great time too, I feel like for people of color. The industry wants to be more inclusive and right. more diverse. And I feel like there aren't a lot of South Indian models okay. in the industry. So I kind of feel like I can sort of use that to my advantage. Like mm -hmm. if I ever met with another agency or went to a casting, it's like, I am diverse. Mm -hmm. I have qualities and traits that set me apart from other people. And I don't mean that in a cocky way or anything. I just mean oh, like no, representation yeah. wise. Right. <laughs> um, and in Miami, I feel like there are not a lot of Indian models in general okay. or like even just in full color, like yeah. anyone. And so I'm super excited to kind of get into the market around this time and kind of be one of the few diverse models. So it should be fun. Yeah, yeah that's so excited. cool. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing more about her experiences. Like, I feel like that was probably the coolest video I filmed just because I love hearing about other industries. And yeah. Like hearing people talk about everything that they know on that industry. It's just really cool. Yeah, no, I had a fun time kind of <laughs> spilling the tea about yes. everything. Um, I feel like we talked about a lot of stuff that most people don't know. Feel free to follow Navia on Instagram. Like I said, her Instagram is killing it. Let's talk to you. <laughs> My DMs are always yeah. open. Like I always want to help and inspire people. So if you have questions or need advice, yeah. like I will tell you everything that I know and what I did. So that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.